wants to see that one. And so it continues. Hello everybody, my name is Angry945 and welcome back to Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Grinch. In the last episode, we have rescued all the Littlies. There's one, two, three, four, five. They're all still alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's never do this again. Eleven, twelve. Hey, be uh, eleven dozen. Hey, that's Bevan, my cousin. Uh, okay, pretty good. Now all we got to do is hop on the slide. It would be out of mom's guts before you know it. You need to go, little boy. Take a ride on the tidy slidey. Let's go. Right, oh, come on, Littlies. It's time for the slidey ride of you a tiny, tiny lives. <laughs> Little egglings. Well, don't just stand there, come on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, knew that what was going to be a boss. What is that thing? A jelly bane of mom's belly. Nickers. That rotter of a squid's got our kids! What the heck?! The Littlies! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake! Ah! Uh, do we have any choice? Okay, so this must have been what summoned all the creatures inside of man's guts. Royal Jelly. I dislike you already. So fire does super effective damage. Two stars. Okay. Defend, defend. Okay. You know what? Next plan. All out attack. Okay, it seems to be just going for me. And now I can't move. Help. What am I meant to do? Help. Oh, this thing's quite tanky. You know what? Pulse on it. That did nothing, and I feel like I wasted MP. Bolts on the blue! Okay. Alright, this is a new attack. Oh, okay, thank god I defended. But did everyone else defend? This oh. Oh, yes, we all defended! Yes! Oh my god, thank you all so much. You just made me so happy. You made me the happiest gamer in the world. Thank you so much. Look at it. Barely stands a chance. Defend, just in case it goes for me. Ha! Cool, you thought you could get me. Okay, look at that. See? Esther's actually lost in this fight. Thank you, Esther. Thank you for lasting. Oh. Okay. That worked. I have no idea how I escaped that, but I just somehow did. I will take it. Fireball. Uh, okay, okay. All out attack. Okay, all out defend, all out defend, all out defend. Shouldn't have done all out attack. Oh, we all defended, yes. Oh my god, thank god we can. Baby shot. Okay, what's this move? What? What? Oh, wait, 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 golden glim, golden glim, golden glim. Go away, go away. I need to destroy that thing. This is a Nito ripoff. I hate it. Die. Die. 180, I'll take it. It's not a lot, but it'll do. Esther's dead. Now Esther's dead. Okay, so go go take care of all the babies. Sea stars. Okay, defend. Up. Help. Help. Step aside. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you a sandwich. Okay, sea stars. Let's defend. Oh, it's all the down. Crud. Okay. Time for my next move. Uh, Phoenix Feather on Oliver. Phoenix Feather on 
Esther, because I at least want her to be alive to fight. And now for my next... Ah! Come on, guys. Come on, Oliver. Put your head... Fireball. I dislike this boss very much. Like, go ahead and say it's because I'm bad at it. Well, no, honestly, because... Like, both from the blue and sea stars. Look, those are fine attacks. But, like, that little part... Like, this... First off, this thing is just, like, so tanky. Secondly, like, this thing is also... Like, the baby shell. Like, that was just a massive screw you moment. If you have to have basic enemies spawn during your fight, it just shows how weak you are. And drop a gold glim. Come on, please. It's very low on health. It's so low. Bomb. I'm doing barely anything against him. And now I have no other magic items to use. It does my last copy. I'm gonna save up. Fully <sighs> restores HP and MP. Like, am I sure I want to do that? What? I got another option. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're in for it now, buddy. Okay. Yeah. You're going down! You're going down? Look at yeah. you. You know the good thing about this fight, though? At least it doesn't do Baby Shower again. So if it did Baby Shower again, I just rage quit this game right now. And though, so... I'm just gonna use a cheeseburger. Mm, tasty. Ah, no! Okay. We're safe. We're safe. I just need one goddamn gold glint. One more gold glint is all I need to take this thing down. Just die. Okay, so now you show up. Now you show up. Are you serious? You show up and now. This is the end for you. This ends now. Sayonara, royal jelly. Never! Yes, we did it, this damn podcast. Oh, thank you. No, I'm not. When I was at age, I ate squid for breakfast. Proper hard I was. But wasn't that a jellyfish just now? What a lucky escape, though. I've never seen a creature so big. I thought we were finished. Well, something had to be done about it, and I suppose we were just the ones to do it, ain't it? That's how it all us. Sure, someone had to make it out. Make sure the ladies made it out somehow, huh? Speaking of which, how do we get out of here? Yes, how do we get out of here? There's no way out. We can't get back up the slide. Of course we can't. It's miles back up the top. So what do we do? What do you think, man? We get reborn, ain't it? Huh? What? Yeah, we pop out along with the lilies. Come on, man, you only live once. And you're supposed to be born once, too, you, d you demented little gnome. Just what are you suggesting? 
You flippin' humans are so prudish! It's like this, see? Because for up from beyond is Mars exit. It's where the Lilies get born from, ain't it? Also, it's like a little volcano. And if we bop out with them, we'll be back in the fairy ground before you know it. Besides, not like we've got a choice of the money. Just pop out! Are you mad? Poppy, toppy, tidy, righty, away! Gee, I don't know about this. Don't worry, as long as we're together, we'll make it out through somehow. Remember the eye of the storm? We saw that, didn't we? But did you die? She, she, Esther literally just pulled a, but did you die, moment. Toppy, poppy, toppy. And I guess this is it. Time to be born again. Here goes nothing, man. We'll make a quick exit. Alright. And one heck of an entrance! Oh, are we actually being born again? Let's see how this goes. Oh! They're coming! Oh! I can feel it! Oh, they're coming! At long last! Come on, my little darlings! <laughs> Swain's just struggling in the back. He's like, help! <laughs> okay, this was something. Where, where's Trippy? It's getting late. Yeah, he must be knackered after the day we've had. I know I am. Oh, look, there he is. You boys did a proper teddy job, man. Mom was laughing to fit to flip and burst. Well, we could have done it without you, Drippy boy. Then piece of art packed a real punch, ain't it, though? We don't fire, man. Yeah, I suppose you would have bombed without my hip, eh? Mind you, you're the routine. I've got the same one. It's pretty flippy funny. Yeah, he was. Really? Thanks, Trippy boy. <laughs> Took me back, it did. Back to the days when the stage was in my life. Uh, it's a tiny while ago now. Your gags are legendary, man. Classics, they were. Our material is nothing compared to yours. I'm just chuffed we made you chuckle. He's right, man. When it comes to tickling Mam's funny bone, there's no one that ever did it quite like you, Drippy Boy. Stop it, man. You're making me brush. The, the time for my jokes is long gone. I won't be back on the circuit anytime soon. Besides, I've got that lot to be shepherding now, ain't it? What would they do without me? Drippy Boy. But I do think about it sometimes. What would have happened, you know, if I'd never gone out with Alicia, like? I wonder how far I would have gotten in the old comedy game. Mr. Drippy. Oh, it's you lot, is it? What's up? You didn't hear all that, did you? Uh, no, we didn't hear anything. N no, we just got here, didn't we? Um, anyway, it's late. We should get some rest. Yeah, you're right, Teddy. I'll show you to the old inn, shall I? It's a bit small for you, but you'll just have to get in bed at eight. How am I supposed to sleep in a fairy sized bed? I'm sure you'll manage somehow. You never seem to have much trouble falling into deep and noisy sleep. Gee, poor Mr. Trippy. All right then. That worked? <laughs> oh. Oh, Oliver. What's wrong? It's Philip. He's mean. <laughs> oh dear. Oi, <laughs> Ollie boy. Don't cry, man. I'm the tear fairy, see? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is, I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? I always hated Philip from the start. Oh, how could I ever thank you, Bach? Save my life, you did. We're just happy to help, ma'am. And we're sure glad the lilies are safe. But are you alright now? You did have a jelly giant jellyfish inside you, after all. 
Oh, is that what it was? I thought it was a squid. Us fairies love a bit of seafood, and he looked so big and juicy, I couldn't help myself. You mean, a draper? Like, swallowed it straight down, I did. What? Then we were worrying she'd been attacked by Shadar, and it was all because she was greedy for her own good. Look on the bright side, Swain. It means the reason was much less serious than we thought. Shadar, you say? Where have I heard that name before? Shadar, Shadar. Oh, him! You know Shadar, ma'am? Nope. Is she talking that Mick? Sorry, love. Of course I know him. He's the, that one who was flying around my head, causing all kinds of mischief. Proper little Teddy is. Smiley, Sherry, get your bombs over here, bye. We're here, we're here. Keep your hand on, man. What is the map? Stop flipping and shouting. Can you two boys go and take a look over by Shadar's castle for me? What? Not bad, love. Not bad. I thought you'd lose your comic touch, but what a reaction. Found your form again. I have you. <laughs> That's lovely. Is that part of my flippin' act, Mom? You just asked him to go <laughs> take a look at Shadar's flippin' castle. What kind of reaction did you expect? We can't refuse, Mom, though, can we? We best go have a look, eh? Craggy, you're too much of convincing, do you? Yeah, Mom, but think about Ollie Boy and that. They helped us out good and proper, ain't it, though? Least we can do is return the favor. There you go, being noble again. What did I tell you about that? Please, boys. For me? You wouldn't want to disappoint your dear old Mom, would you? You can say that again. You better know than to get taught on your bad side. Looks like we're taking a spectacle of them, eh? What's that? Splitting up, you mean? Right, you up, might as well then. How many times? We're not splitting up! I meant we were taking a break for a bit, honestly. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you, Shirley. Don't thank us, ma'am. Thank ma'am. It was her flippin' idea. Ta, ma'am. Anyway, we'll let Drippy Boy know if we find anything, ain't it? Thank you. Speaking of Drippy, where is he? He slipped off, ain't it? Probably gone to say goodbye to all the boys in town, eh? Mr. Drippy. Pretio, you're off now, aren't you, Bart? Uh, me? Uh, yes, ma'am. We'll have to find the next great sage. Course you do, love. He's a wizard, ain't it? Fancy a spell or two to be going on your way then. Uh, yeah. I guess. I mean, yes, please, ma'am. Oh, we get new spells. The shift shape spell. Change your appearance. Oh. The second spell. A doppelganger. The mimic spell. The vanish spell. Okay. There's a lot of stealth ones. The werecat spell. The werefish spell. How, how many of these do you have? The shrink spell. Okay. The open mind spell. The loaf of life spell. What? What? The poison apple. Wow, that's a lot of spells. You could say that again. Huh, it sure is. Thank you so much, ma'am. And they're all proper, useful ones too. Well, useful to fairies at least. Still, I'm sure there's one or two in there that can make use of you, love. We'll have a look later. We need to get moving. Come on, we've wasted enough time. Let's find Lantern Face and get on back on the boat. You're right, we need to get back on the trail of the Great Sage. We sure do. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye! Ta-da, my loves! Pop by any time! Drippy left you. Okay. Alright, so we need to go find Drippy, apparently. Alright, go on, chop chop, go to Shadar's castle. Wait. Can we go through here? What's through here? I'm out, bye. Take a left. Alright, so where's Drippy at? <laughs> Look at Mr. Drippy! Oh, they get to read the voices. Come on, don't go get it all soppy on me! Oi, I thought I told you to- <laughs> He does have a caring side after all. <laughs> Family's family, I suppose. Mr. Drippy. This is where you need to be. Shall we go? Maybe we should. This is where he belongs, after all. Yeah. It is, huh? Aww. Drippy, you can all leave us. I can't even talk to Drippy. Alright, you know what? We're gonna leave him be. Sorry, Drippy. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy something from you. What? What? Okay, you're not the... Yeah, there you are. See what you got. Oh, wow, okay. 
Massive mallet. Woodland claws. You know, I don't feel like buying anything from you. Alright, you know, I will buy something from you, though. I need ten sandwiches. And five strong coffees. I mean, iced coffees, I mean. And white bread. There we go. Thank you. Or is the ship all ready to sail? All right, oh god, accidentally just stepped back in. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, we're gonna get attacked already. Watch this! Do you not know what we just fought? Right. Let's go! Keep the mohawk, yes. Mo. Mo mama! <laughs> I'm so funny and original. Mo mama, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Ah, took your gnome beard. Get wrecked, nerds. Hey, you all ready to sail? Captain Sinbad! Oliver, thank goodness. Tell me that you found at least somewhere to shelter at night. We sure did. We brought a ton of food, too. There's a little village on the end. A village, you say, and food. I am pleased to learn this, and you will be pleased to learn that my men have completed the repairs of the ship. She is ready to sail upon your command. Shall I give the order to way anchor? Uh, yeah, leave behind Drippy. Uh, yes. Yes, please. You are troubled, I feel. Have you left something behind in the forest? No. No, we're ready to go. Very well. We'll sail. Okay, so we're actually just going to leave Drippy behind. Bye, Drippy. We did the right thing, didn't we? Of course. That is the most important thing there is. We all know that. And besides, he's no spring chicken. It's probably about time he settled down. And you still got us, Oliver. The three of us can work to do this if we work together. I guess so. Oh! Huh? Did you hear that? Huh? What's this? Oh my god! Mr. Drippy! Huh. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh my god. <sighs> Phew! A pooped man. You trying to leave without me or something? But, Drippy, we thought you wanted to stay back there in the fairy ground. Who told you that, man? And when exactly? I want names, dates, times. I just thought, all oh, your friends are back there. Of course they are, man, but they're very dear to me, even the stupid ones. But you and me haven't been the team now ever since you were little and I was just a doll, ain't it, naughty buddy? I've been with your side through the thick and thin, remember what you said? You said I was your friend! You and Lord are not all of my friends, my companions, my brothers and sisters, my family. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Shut it, you! What I mean is you are all stuck with me whether you like it or not, so get that into your thick skulls, will you? Yes, sir, Mr. Rippy. Well, you're only trying to be nice after what we hurt. But you said your friends yesterday. Oh, so it's my fault, is it now? I get it. You don't think I've been pulling my weight, is it? Fine, I'm gonna start using a little trick that I'll know that'll blow your tiny mind. Drippy has finally got his act together. Can now use the Tidy Tears ability. What's that? Huh, I can't wait to see this. Anyway, it looks like the gang's all here. Shall we get back to what we're supposed to be doing? What he said. Do Amen and the next great sage. Otomia, here we come. Let's go. Drippy, join you again. Woo! Awesome. So it looks like Drippy has not left us. And I have to admit, I'm gonna use that little oi from now. The eye of the storm. Cutting. Until Sorry. now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy, he has a unique power. Mm-hmm. And it's called plot armor. Get wrecked, Shadar. 
More like Shadum. Perhaps. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps. Papers. Forgive me, Your Radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Who could it be? The sage, Alicia. I had wondered, Your Radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of parlor tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own council's wands and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Mornstar. That dude didn't sound happy about it. It's like, boy, did you just get rid of Mornstar for good? Well, guess what? I'm gonna snap it back into existence. Boom. Alright, guys. That's, anyways, that's gonna have to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. And I will be gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.